Hi, first through fourth graders. How's everyone doing? Today is Wednesday, and today we are gonna paint a peg doll family. So everyone, get out your Wednesday bag, get all your supplies. Here's what you're gonna need beside what's in the bag. So in the bag, you're gonna have your peg doll family, your holy family. You're going to have little tubs of paint and a paintbrush. What you might also need to get especially wherever you're painting to keep it safe and clean. Newspapers, either your shirt from school, from your art class, or a smock, or an old t-shirt, or whatever mom and dad lets you paint in. A, um, a, a paper plate if you wanna mix your colors up and be creative, a container of water, and you'll be getting a sheet attached to the email with the visual so you can have this printed out and have it by you so you know where to paint what on the Holy Family. And then also, if you happen to have just some other paint brushes, mom or dad might have, or you have other painting paint brushes, you might wanna get a few out just to make painting a little bit faster if you have those. So, all right, now let's get ready to paint. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is you're gonna need paper towels maybe, just to wipe up if you get something on your hands while you're painting. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Here's our Holy Family, here are our peg dolls. We're just gonna rotate through and do different colors one at a time. So get a little bit of water on your brush and then um, we're gonna start with white. So that, um, we're gonna start with white on Jesus. Well, let's start with that first. Okay, so you just, you're gonna get a little bit of white on your brush and he's flesh colored on his face and his neck. So you can just go ahead and make a little V for his swaddle and then I usually like to just kind of go around the head and then um, go ahead and go down because we're not going to paint the head so um, you can just leave that flesh color like the peg doll paint color okay so you're just going to go around the head so the baby Jesus these are pretty um, simple and I hope that you guys have a really fun time painting these Baby Jesus um, just has a little swaddle on. And um, these are really easy peg dolls to start with if you've never painted peg dolls before. This is one of my favorite things to do when I'm crafting. And we've made several of these for our family, different saints and different um, virgins of Mary, different apparitions that Mary has appeared to people. And then we, um, every month, put them on our prayer shelf so that we can remember whose feast day it is and ask for intercessory prayers from them. And we don't have a feast, we don't have a St. Um, Justin peg doll yet, but I should paint one of those because St. Justin's feast day was just the other day. Okay, so cute little baby Jesus. This is just like the cutest little peg doll ever. So we, we have his close there. Okay, so here we are with our baby Jesus, and we're just going to take our black, and you're just going to do two little eyeballs right on the front, and just you're going to get a lot of paint on the tip, see if you can see that, and then you're just going to barely just, see, if you, I'm going to make sure you see this, just barely just boop, boop, and there he is, cute Jesus. If you feel like this is too hard for you to do with paint, you could always use a Sharpie. Sharpies are amazing for when you're doing peg dolls. They do lots of fine little details. All right, then we'll do Mary. Okay, we'll give her some sweet eyeballs. Uh, another thing you could do, I think this is the simplest thing to do if you are, if you've never painted peg dolls before, is just to give them some eyes. Those might be a little close together, but that's okay. You could always, you know, make a little mouth, um, a little nose, or just do eyes and a mouth. You could Google peg doll saints and find a lot of different examples of how to do that. Um, Mom and Dad can help you with that. If you if you have some red paint at home, you could, you know, give Mary red lips. Um, there's lots of things that you can do to make that... Um, make that a little bit more specialized but you know it's fine you can do it however you'd like to do it this simple form is adorable and sweet and not necessary to make it any different than this 
Okay, there he is. There's St. Joseph. So here is our little holy family. St. Joseph and Mary and sweet baby Jesus. All right, there they are. I hope you had a great time.